Hey guys, it's Chris. I wanted to share with you very quickly why I absolutely loved my bout with keto flu and what it taught me. Now, for those of you that haven't heard the term before, keto flu is a set of symptoms that starts to occur in most people that have been living a fairly carbohydrate heavy life. And when they make the transition to a ketogenesis based diet, so to go back even further, if you haven't, you know, discovered what that is yet basically when you go to a predominantly fat based diet 75% um, fats maybe 20% proteins uh, and 5% carbs each day your body starts making a transition it starts producing ketones and ketones is a super powerful fuel source now I didn't make the decision to take on a ketogenic diet lightly it's on the back of a lot of research and the research has come from many years both of personal study accredited study and then also you know deciding what was right for me so I'm not suggesting that the keto diet is right for everybody and to do your own research but one of the things I wanted to share was my experiences as I made the transition because this is something that I believe would drive many people away from wanting to continue with it so effectively when you start reducing your carbohydrate caloric intake and you start increasing your fat intake there's certain things that happen and the body goes into a kind of like a almost a miniature shock type thing now that shock that sounds kind of scary and it feels kind of horrible but it's a totally natural process as the body starts adapting to its new fuel source so think about the fact that the energy that your body is currently burning if you eat like a large amount of carbohydrates like most people in, in the Western world do your primary source of fuel at the moment is glucose Like the body stores glucose and it, it burns it very quickly people that are hugely overweight the fat cells are full of stored glucose. That's what people say when they're talking about carbs turn to fats. Carbs don't turn to fats, carbs get stored in the fat cells. And then when you start losing weight, it splits it open and re-releases it. It's still carbs. Carbs are carbs, fats are fats. You know, macros don't change necessarily. Having said that, protein as a macro can be converted into glucose, which is why the protein isn't super high in the ketogenic diet as well you want to keep it predominantly as fat now my journey into ketogenesis was an amazing journey and I've got to tell you it took about a week for my body to go through these symptoms and to come out the other side and the symptoms that I got was when I would sit down and eat and I'd have a plate of predominantly fats very little if any carbs and then minimal proteins in that meal as I was triggering ketogenesis within my body what literally happened was I would start to get dizzy straight away as soon as the, the fats hit my system I would start to get dizzy the dizziness started becoming headaches I started getting uh, pain in my optical nerve behind my eyes you know when you look up into the side you get that kind of sharp strain I was getting that um, I was feeling a little bit in my head and off balance very flu like I started getting you know symptoms like I had diarrhea um, for a couple of days and a little bit of nausea and just super low energy like my energy levels were just bottoming out it's because my body was looking all through my system for glucose for, for you know glycogen for carbohydrate based fuel and it wasn't finding it and it wasn't yet making the ketones from the fats that I was eating so I was kind of in this transition and that's where the keto flu can happen so what I did was, after some research and talking to some really cool friends of mine, um, a naturopath and a sports nutritionist, what I ended up coming up with was by incorporating a very, very slight amount of carbs back into each meal, no more than you know, like 15 grams of carbs per meal, I very quickly alleviated those symptoms. But then the body started making the transition quite powerfully into the ketogenic state and when it did I've got to tell you the energy levels that I'm experiencing now the level of vitality the clarity in my thoughts second to none like I haven't felt this level of focus in a long time and it's a powerful thing for athletes like for myself I was a sponsored ultra marathon runner for several years quite a few years ago 
and I still run long distances. I still love running marathon, ultra marathon. And what I've noticed is that when you are in a state of keto, ketogenesis in the body, as an athlete that's running super long distances, you don't have to be sucking on those sticky ass gel shots the, the whole way, those carbohydrate shots that are just pure sugar. You don't have to put those in. You're not running the risk of running out of glucose in your system and then having your muscle, having your body tap into its muscles, to its own muscles to create a fuel source. Because that's what it will go to once glucose is gone, once glycogen is gone. If you haven't weaned it off the, the you know, the carbohydrate-based fuels, and you haven't gone into a state of ketosis, if you're out running a marathon or an ultra marathon, and you run out of glucose in the system, you run out of sugars and carbs in the system, what's effectively going to happen is you're going to have what they call hitting the wall. And the wall is a total glycogen washout in the system. I've had it happen once and it feels absolutely horrible. Like it is, it's the worst thing you could ever feel and still be alive. I literally swear to you. Now, when you get to that state, the body is going to start chewing into its own muscles as a fuel source. It's gonna start pulling what it can out of the muscles. That's where you start running the risk of a condition called rhabdo, uh, rhabdomolysis, I believe it's called. Now, rhabdomolysis is where your body starts chewing into its own muscles, and the muscles will dissolve into the bloodstream, but the, the kidneys, the liver, they can't filter muscle tissue out of the bloodstream. And so you very quickly end up clogging up the kidneys and you start peeing blood and you, well, it's not blood, it's just like a coffee colored pee. It's, it's you know, it's really, um, like a really gnarly colored pee. And you, you think it's that you're peeing blood. Um, you basically end up in a really horrible state and you can end up on dialysis and you can end up dying from this. So this is not to frighten you guys. Um, I've had mild rhabdo before as well. And you know, there's so many things when you run ultra marathon that can happen in your body. And that's what this is all about is education. You know, I've been called back to my roots as a trainer, as a strength and conditioning coach, bringing all of the coaching that I've done in my previous, you know, couple of years, past couple of years, and bringing it all into one place. You know, to, to teach how to breathe, how to eat, how to condition the body, and just to share my experiences on this journey and to watch as this unfolds, you know? And so it's a really cool experience. It's a really cool thing. When you start encountering these symptoms, when you start getting the symptoms of like keto flu, anything that feels flu-like, that is, I need to unplug that. Anything that is feeling flu-like in the body as you're making the transition to burning fats from carbohydrates, instead of hitting that point and saying, whoa, something's wrong, and then racing, racing straight back to the carbohydrates, just lean into it a little bit. Like if you are concerned, seek medical aid. If you have any pre-existing conditions, seek medical assistance before you undertake a transition like that. But if you're healthy, there's no underlying medical conditions, you don't have anything wrong with you, and you wanna make that transition to a more powerful fuel source, to a more powerful fuel source, then literally just start leaning into the symptoms as they arise and you, you come through the other side and you feel stronger for it. That's what I wanted to share with you today. Thanks for signing in for those that watched and I'll catch up with you soon.